So I went to the grocery store today, but I didn't get much. Um, I pretty much had what I needed, but I needed some garlic bread that I picked up. I got that. Um, I got the kids some push-ups. I got me some coffee. Got me some ice cream, some heavy whipping cream, Jiffy cornbread, fish fry. Comment below if y'all make y'all own um, fish fry because I always buy this brand right here. I know you use what cornmeal and seasonings and all that, but I always buy Louisiana um, fish fry. And I also got the sausages that I had got from Costco that I'm gonna cut up in my cabbage. So today we're having fried catfish, fried chicken, macaroni and cheese, cabbage, cornbread, and garlic bread. And I got my wings right here. Oh. I marinated these last night and yeah stay tuned for the cooking clip next so I'm done cutting up my cabbage I'm gonna take it over here and rinse it off I hope everybody rinse off their um, greens they be so dirty cabbage greens be dirty mustard uh, what else collard greens all those greens be dirty so I'm gonna wash these off so, I like to add chicken stock to all my greens. I don't use water anymore. Do y'all use chicken stock to y'all greens? It adds so much flavor to it. Chicken stock. Let me show y'all. Okay, so my sausage is cooking. Now I'm going to add my cabbage to it. Remember these sausages right here? I paid $20 for, I think, seven sausage, um, came in that pack from Costco, so hopefully it was worth it. They're um, organic beef sausage. So I seasoned my cabbage with seasoned salt, pepper, garlic powder, and total seasoning. And I'm gonna add some vinegar. Why I'm adding vinegar, y'all? I don't even know. I just know my dad used vinegar in his greens, and every time he cooked them, they be so delicious. So I'm trying to steal his recipe, even though he won't give it to me. So y'all know I like to add, uh, make homemade macaroni and cheese. Right now I'm adding heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna put my cheese, my macaroni. So right here for my Alfredo pasta, I like to make my own Alfredo sauce. So I'm gonna add heavy whipping cream. And then I'm gonna add some grated Parmesan cheese. And I'm gonna season it with some garlic powder, some total seasoning, and salt and a little pepper. So I just made some habanero um, sweet heat wings. And remember, I got this sauce from Walmart, John. Okay, so comment below if y'all season y'all fish um along with using the fish fry y'all know the fish fry is already seasoned so my biggest fear is it's being too salty so what i'm not what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna stick with the fish batter and y'all let me know if y'all season it along with using the fish um seasoning this remind me of soul food y'all remember when they were cooking that um catfish I don't know about y'all, but I grew up with putting my flour into a bag. Um, I wish I had a paper bag, but I don't, so we're going to use this um, plastic bag. I got my flour in here. I'm about to see, I mean, I'm about to throw my chicken into the flour bag and put it in the deep fryer. Right here, I'm just rinsing off my um, salad. I remember when I didn't used to do this, now I know to wash it off. So, here go my homemade pasta, y'all. This is why I like the grocery shop because I love to cook. So here y'all go. I got some cabbage greens with uh, beef, smoked sausage, macaroni and cheese, fried chicken, Alfredo pasta, fried catfish, got the salad. In my salad, I got tomatoes, pickles, onions, cuc um, cucumbers, cheese, lettuce. 
that's it and then i got the sweet heat habanero wings cornbread and garlic bread and sometimes y'all i think i'll be cooking too much food but hey my kids love to eat so there y'all go happy sunday y'all and i'm tired bye